Welcome everybody. Today we're going to practice something I first saw on Dave Canterbury's channel, but I'm sure it's been around a lot longer than that. What we're going to start with is something called a barrel. This is a tube-like object that is one to two inches long, and we're going to use it to help guide our project today. I'm trying to stay within what I have in my everyday carry pack for the woods, so I'm using duct tape wrapped around this aluminum straw. Next, you want to go in your sewing kit and find your biggest needle. And when I say your biggest needle, I mean the one with the biggest eye. You'll see why here in a minute. This one is the one that's the biggest for me. Now strip out the guts from some paracord. This is why we want a needle with a big eye. We're going to be using one section after another and threading our needle to help put this project together. So the bigger the eye in your needle, the better off you're going to be. As long as it fits, then we can keep going. Now the next thing is to stuff this barrel with pine needles. Look around and see what you have available. I'm using needles from a red pine tree. You can tell the red pine because it's got this flaky type of bark. And you can also tell a red pine because it sheds its lowest branches to get all the nutrients up to the top of the tree where the sunlight is creating the photosynthesis in the needles. The branches even shed their needles that are closest to the tree trunk so that they can get their energy and juice out to the needles at the end where they're gonna absorb the most sunlight. Look for these trees, these have nice long needles. Once you have your barrel full of needles all facing the same direction, wrap the ends, Cut off the jagged parts and start to bend this thing around itself so it creates a spiral shape. The bigger your spiral, the bigger your surface area of whatever you're making. And then eventually you can bend it upwards and it'll start to make a basket shape. So here's what I learned on this one. This takes a long time. This is a painstaking process. You're gonna have to go slow. I tried to um, speed it up a little bit I tried to stuff that barrel with three or four bundles of needles at a time and it just ends up looking sloppy. So just take your time with it. Um, what I did today took me about two and a half hours. Also, uh, next time when I do this, I'm gonna use a slimmer barrel. Uh, I wrap that tape around what I consider to be kind of a large bore straw, but next time I'll probably use like the guts of a Bic pen or something. Uh, I think that'll make things a little bit easier. It's gonna take more, uh, more turns of the spiral to get the same size, but it'll be easier to work with. Uh, also, I tried to make my tape into kind of a funnel, thinking that I would stuff the needles into the wide end and have them come out the narrow end. This didn't work very well, because you can overstuff that thing, and I ended up pulling my barrel right off of there, which is a pain, don't do that. Uh, once I got it back on, I put it on the other way, thinking I wouldn't repeat the same mistake twice. However, uh, when it was on the other way, it just kept falling off. So next time, I'll use an actual cylinder. If you're wrapping your cordage the right way around your bundle of needles, it will be narrow enough to come out, no problem. Uh, cylinder is the way to go as far as I'm concerned. And the last thing was to practice. Uh, this is something that the learning curve is not too steep. Once you get a rhythm going, you can pick it up pretty well but your first one's not going to look great. Uh, I'm not really crazy about how my first one went. This was just kind of a test to uh, do proof of concept. And so next time when I do this, I'm going to make an actual basket, uh, something I might be able to use around the house. So today I just wanted to spend the afternoon in the woods uh, practicing a skill, and I think I've been able to do that. Pull that down tight. Just like that. Pull my barrel off of there. And because I'm using bank line, I've got lots of options. I can just kind of burn this in, burn this end of it, and just melt it down, and then trim these close and leave them there for decoration to show that it's a pine needle basket. And I can just trim those off.